Greetings, heroic looking traveller. I am Deathspank. Yeah, me and the whole forest heard it when you were telling the Demon Witch. In honor of Deathspank, mighty hero of the downtrodden and vanquisher of squishy things, I'm going to do this entire review in my heroic voice. Heck, I'm even typing it in all caps. No, there's no need to thank me, I'm just in it for the justice. Justice that whets my appetite until I can dig into this courtroom game anyway. Where was I? Why, yes, Death's Bank, a tale of one man's quest for an artifact, called the Artifact. Foretold in prophecy and guarded by hordes of monsters that require beatings. Beatings I'm more than happy to dish out in the name of justice. But uh, if I keep that up, I might sprain something. Yes, Deathspank, the moderately dopey but very heroic hero, takes to the field in this PC version to scramble about a lush world, quad wield a generous selection of weaponry, and fulfill quests for the locals because that's what heroes do. Said locals, along with our hero, everyone he meets, and likely the directors and staff of this very game, all have at least one and possibly as many as five screws loose, and put old Deathspank through his paces, whether it involves cacking chickens, making slimes explode, or literally beating the shit out of demons. Makes for excellent fertilizer, you know? While it plays very much like an action game, there's a solid RPG backend to the experience that emphasizes improving your gear and finding a nice balance of weapons to suit your playstyle. At each level up, you've got a Mario RPG-style choice of benefits to develop, from increased movement speed to melee or ranged damage improvements to being able to fake your level as it pertains to certain pieces of armor. You've usually got a hammer, axe, sword, and crossbow at any given time, though these are fiddleable so as to suit your needs at any given time. A quartet of slots are available for fast access to healing or utility items like potions, chicken drumsticks, nachos... Damn it, now I'm hungry. So please enjoy some more gratuitous violence while I hustle down to the commissary for some pierogies. Finally, my hunger is sated and I can do the heroic voice again. Or I'll give that a rest. There's certainly plenty of overacting with almost every line of dialogue voiced and delivered with an so emphasis well, on being strange. And that's awesome. It's like the Tick, Space Ghost, Brock Samson, and Emmett Nervin got jammed into a meat grinder and came out as money, baby. That's exactly what this game is like. Or it's a quality hacky slashy action game with well-designed RPG mechanics and an absolute inability to take itself seriously. And that's even better. I'm even willing to forgive it the couple glitches I came across like these completely immortal demons, as the rest of the experience has been fantastic. You may rest easy, YouTube viewing citizens, sleep safe, knowing that your hero is on the job. Er, job. Greetings, industrious worker. Hello, the name's Bubblewood, and I need poop. I'll try a high-fiber diet and stay away from cheese.